Uh, Matt, the uh, Cushing Hall of Engineering uh, joins by some very smart people here. Uh, the co-directors of the Wireless Institute, Professor Nick Lanneman and Freeman Chair Professor Burke Hockwald. Welcome, both of you, to Notre Dame Day. Thank you for uh, joining us Thank and you. sharing some of your brains with us. Uh, what kind of research are you guys doing here at the Wireless Institute? So the Wireless Institute in the College of Engineering is interested in wireless technologies and applications. We do work on everything from antennas and RF circuits to signal processing algorithms and network protocols. Um, one of our biggest projects right now is we're building, we're planning on building a city scale test bed in the, in the city of South Bend. Wow. Uh, it's called the Platform for Advanced Wireless Research. All right, and now uh, behind us, what are some of the stuff that we're looking at here? So this is the beginnings of what we call the Google Maps of the radio spectrum. Okay. And this is the result of a project that we are calling the Radio Hound Project, mm -hmm. which my colleague Bert will tell you more about. All right, Bert, we'll kind of tap you in here. Sure. So Bert, uh, tell us a little bit more, more about uh, this Radio Hound Project. Sure. Um, the uh, Radio Hound Project, which um, is uh, actually, there's many parts to the project, but you're seeing parts of it here. It's a sensor, sensor, and actually the room is filled with sensors. And uh, there's a bit of a map here showing these sensors. And uh, actually, if we were to zoom out here, you would see the Notre Dame campus. The goal here is to uh, map out what's being used and where in the uh, radio world. And why do you guys want to know that? Well, there's uh, several reasons. Uh, did you ever uh, lose your remote control at home? All the time. Uh, your phone? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> your garage door opener. So, uh, well, I'm only being half serious there. It's actually more about uh, not finding transmitters in your home, but more about finding what's being used and where, because uh, spectrum is very scarce these days, and uh, uh, it's, there's sort of a prime real estate of spectrum that is uh, being uh, courted by all sorts of uh, wireless players, whether it's AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and all the traditional players, or mm -hmm. even all the incoming uh, new players that uh, all want to play in the wireless world. Right. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, definitely interesting technology for sure. Thank you both for joining us. Uh, they are working on just some of the top technology here at the Cushing Hall of Engineering here at Notre Dame.